look, it's all rosy and honeymoon when you start working with a web developer. Everything is unicorn tears and sprinkles, right? But eventually maybe things don't always go the way you planned and you have to go through a webmaster divorce. This is when we panic a little bit because we know that they have all the keys to our website. So we're gonna talk about how to fire a web team and protect your business in the process. So if you have the unfortunate luck to have to let go of a web development team, it happens, trust me. We've been through dozens in my career. It just comes to a natural end, sometimes not in a good way, sometimes in a good way. Mostly, it gets a little sketchy toward the end. Just a couple tips on how to properly say goodbye to your existing web team. Number one is make sure you have all of your logins and passwords where you have easy access to them. We have an executive checklist and there's another video that we talked all about this checklist that gives you every single login. I'll make sure to put that link in the description of this video. I want you to sit down with your team, make sure you know where all your logins are, all your passwords and usernames. Number two is when you've decided to then actually let them go before you let them go, you use that executive check-in and you change all the passwords like that quickly. After you change all the passwords, you immediately either have a meeting set up or you have a phone call and saying, we've changed all the passwords, we're going in a different direction, thank you so much for your service and help. Be done. Because now they don't hold any of the cards, you hold all the cards. You cannot imagine the things that I have seen in my career around vengeful, spiteful web people that think that they are all that in a bag of chips and they have all the cards and they go in and they shut your website down, they hold your domain hostage, they don't give you access to your site, they don't give you logins for your social, I've seen it all. You think people don't do that, yes they do. Just an illustration of something that happened recently with one of my clients is, I don't even know how this happened, but they have too many cooks in the kitchen and they had a website that was built on a WordPress platform, great. Well, for whatever reason, they bought in a different marketing company that said, we don't like the homepage. We would like to replace the homepage with a Squarespace page. That's a whole nother conversation that we'll do with another video. A Squarespace page is hosted on a whole nother website. So somehow they managed to have a Squarespace homepage and a WordPress backend. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But the problem was you have a marketing team that came in, changed the homepage. Another group they no longer work with built the WordPress backend. Now they've got no support, no help, and vendors who are pointing fingers at each other. So the reason that we wanna be prepared is because we don't know what we don't know. I don't expect you to be an expert in web development, but I do expect you to be an expert in working with vendors and protecting yourself in the event that those relationships go wrong. And things always go wrong because they do, it's just the nature of this business. Things change very quickly, opinions change readily based on what vendor you're speaking to. So being, having you be prepared is my number one goal, that you can let go of web developers in a snap and not lose any sleep over it. And you can move on, hopefully, with some of the guidance that you have from my YouTube videos, you'll have a framework on how to set up a web relationship that's both findable and beautiful. And at the end of the day, you've protected yourself. Vendors are looking out for their own best interest and you have to look out for your own best interest. But at the end of the day, you're the ones who write the checks. You get to decide who you hire and fire. But be careful and be prepared. That's the best possible advice I can give you when it's time to fire a web development team. Thanks for watching the video. Firing is never a fun job, but I'm glad you committed to watching it and hopefully being prepared. And we also have a whole nother video about how to hire a web development team and set that relationship up for success. And I'll make sure to put the link in the description below. Ultimately, you're in control. It's your keys to your kingdom. Make sure you're prepared and set up a web relationship the right way. Watch that video on how to hire a web development firm so you can restart this relationship and have a fantastic findable site.